If you are considering to invest in Nikola Motors, if you believe that there are opportunities to make money with this company, or if you simply believe that the story of Nikola has been a wild ride so far, then this video is definitely for you. On November 30th, Trevor Milton, founder and former CEO of Nikola Motor, will be allowed to sell his shares in the company on the open market at a time when the company is going through difficult times. In this video, I will talk about the challenges the company faces, the deal with GM, my take on what may happen regarding the shares, and what all this may mean for traders. Before today's video begins, if you like my content, please like, comment below and subscribe to my channel. For those who are out of the loop with the recent events, here's a quick summary. Earlier in 2020, doubts about whether Nikola has an actual product or even plans to make them appeared, questioning the company's integrity. An article published by Hindenburg Research openly accused Nikola of fabricating the illusion of having a fully functional truck, although it was pushed down from a hill. SEC launched an investigation on the company, which eventually forced the founder Trevor Milton to resign. In the meantime, Nikola worked a deal with GM to jointly develop trucks. Nikola advertised about giving a substantial portion of the equity to GM in exchange for GM's resource and expertise. This deal has become the last lifeline of the company since its reputation has been severely damaged and without the help from GM, it would most likely not be able to finance its manufacturing operations. The deal was significantly scaled back. As of November 30th, this deal has been significantly scaled back from the partners in both manufacturing and expertise to a simple commercial business to supply GM equipments to Nikola for them to manufacture trucks. More importantly, the Badger that Trevor Milton put forward so many times will no longer be manufactured by GM and will most likely be cancelled. Regarding the shares, it is worth to mention that Trevor Milton remained as the single biggest investor on Nikola, with its shares invested till November 30th, 2020, when he will be allowed to sell the shares to the open market. In a recent interview, the new CEO of Nikola, Mark Russell, triggered worries of the investor community about two very crucial matters. The deal with GM was not completely finalized and that he cannot guarantee that Trevor Milton will not be selling his shares. These doubts may have major consequences on Nikola's share price and arguably its survival. Trevor Milton owns approximately a quarter of Nikola's total outstanding shares. If he decides to liquidate his position on November 30th, it would be catastrophic to the share price, causing major losses to other investors. On the other hand, the situation with a deal between Nikola and GM is also very worrisome, since the agreement has been largely scaled back compared to the initial collaboration proposal. When asked about those critical issues, Nikola's CEO was only able to provide vague answers such as he could not comment on the latest developments that the company aims for the long-term ownership and so on. Of course, none of these answers relieved the worries of investors. They sounded like sound bites that people say when, when there are either no real answers or that they are only bad ones. In my opinion, Trevor Milton is likely to liquidate substantial parts of his positions in the near future, based on his behavior in reaction to criticisms while he was CEO of Nikola. He already knew that many of the problems speculated about the company are true, and that he used every single trick to delay the inevitable. At the current share price, Trevor Milton can still pocket tens of millions if not hundreds of millions. Yes, this may bury the company and the investors who believed in the dream of Nikola, but sometimes profit is just too important to resist. As far as the deal with GM is concerned, there are two pieces of information that are clearly negative for Nikola. GM will be supplying its battery technology to Nikola in exchange of cash payments, proving that the startup itself had no technology of its own or that its technology was not ready for usage. The other negative news is that instead of taking an equity stake in Nikola, GM would have no ownership of the startup 
and opted for purely cash payments, suggesting that GM does not believe that holding Nikola shares is a good idea, which may encourage some investors to start unloading their own shares, investors such as Trevor Milton himself. Either way, the upcoming weeks may bring extreme volatility to Nikola's share price, and this will not be stopped until either Trevor Milton confirmed that his shares are once again frozen under some sort of new agreement, or the GM finalized this shrunken deal with Nikola. In terms of trading approach, I would suggest to either stay away from the stock until the storm is over, or to buy the shares along with option contracts to hedge the risk. Another approach would be to sell out of money put option contracts whilst holding the shares. Another approach would be to sell out of money call option contracts while holding the shares. Regardless of the situation, if you decide to hold the shares, you may want to consider to wait for some sort of support level to form before entering in the trade. The stock is currently in the process of falling lower and is not a good time to buy in. Regardless of the situation, if you decide to hold the shares, you may want to consider to wait for some sort of support level to form before entering in the trade. The stock is currently in the process of falling lower and it is not a good time to buy in. Due to the volatile nature of the stock, it is highly recommended to limit the total exposure below 1% of the portfolio's holdings. Thank you very much for watching. If you like my content, please like, comment below or subscribe to my channel.